Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rochambeau here. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. It's going to be weird for me to be saying Fallout New Vegas because less than 48 hours ago, I finally wrapped up a, about a 77 video run for a completion run or a completion walkthrough of um, New Vegas or uh, Fallout 3. I did not plan on making an 80 video series, but why are you just standing there, dog? You stuck? Where'd your, uh, where'd the girl go? Anyways, welcome back to, uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um, yeah, we're, you can tell, uh, if you've seen the game before, then we're pretty early on. I think I just finished, like, a real pretty basic intro mission. And I'm just kind of looking around for stuff right now. We like to keep the radio off. Oh look, here she is. Are you still talking to me? Everything all right? Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Everything all right? Well okay, so she won't tell you exactly where to go. I think it's like graveyard and schoolhouse, if I recall correctly. So basically, we gotta go get those couple things. There we go. The uh, cemetery. We're gonna travel there, kind of cut the cut the trip in half. But uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm I I think they're having like a sale. I might pick up the DLCs for this game. I don't know the DLCs for. Fallout 3 were pretty great, so let me, uh, yeah, this is the way. Got two markers, but this is the one we want. I believe. Yeah, the cemetery. I don't remember the, in a lot of this game I don't remember simply because, um, As I said in the intro, I played this game on Twitch, which um, you kind of focus on chat a lot. So, uh, dude, this thing is quick. It's like right under me. Okay, that was a lot of hopping around. Let's see if we can get him. Got him. Nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I played the whole game live on Twitch. It was my first Fallout game ever. And you kind of got to focus on chat a little bit, or a lot. And um, I just, I kind of don't remember a lot of the game. So, yeah. Alright, so we got these, like, uh... Let's take this thing down. Got some low numbers on these. Oof. Keep hitting. All right, these guys are activated. Got one. Whoa, you hear that? Alright, where'd this guy go? Alright, I think this flower is like right around here. It might not even be in this actual cemetery, I can't remember. <coughs> Let's just take a look real quick. Should kind of stick out. That's weird anyways. What is this weird like? There we go. Boom, we're out of here. Is this thing gonna follow me? Nope. What is that like? You hear that like weird ethereal voice? I don't remember that at all. Let's go. Okay, so now we're headed to, 
I guess a schoolhouse or something. Let's go ahead and um Is this the source? What does that mean? Oh and um just a heads up, I have a wonky controller. Uh if you guys ever have like a where the joystick drifts and won't like snap back to center. So I'm I'm getting that right now and it's time to either pull this controller apart and try to clean it or just get a new one. I think I paid like 20 bucks for 25 bucks. So it's not too big a deal. I think I've used this for almost a couple years now, so That was the docks house. Um what am I looking for? A schoolhouse. There it is over there. I gotta tell you, man, my first run through the game, it took me a long time to get my bearings and try to kind of learn how to navigate this world. Just getting this first quest done took a long time. <coughs> Jalapeno. guys up oh, a little sneaky bugger here one shot one kill I think I gotta go inside to collect the stuff oh whoa you almost snuck up on me I forgot to check Did you, is there like mantis four leg okay That's cool, the tree like fell and knocked the fence over. It all makes sense. Anyway, so I, you know, I, I don't I didn't know anything about Fallout Universe until I played New Vegas like maybe a year ago. Not even a year ago, it was probably like just a few months ago to tell you the truth. Oh, I did get a flashlight. I don't run out of ammo. Ooh, he's getting close. Ooh, where is it? Oh, there's two. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Oh, that was like a weird jump. Did you see that? <coughs> Man, no ammo yet, huh? I guess I can take these these toy cars. I think you can sell them. So I just I'll pick up pick a few up. I think officially what you're doing is you're trading them for for caps or something, but isn't that just what money is? Just trading trading something for paper. Oh, there it is. Man, I kept hearing that thing buzz around. Okay. I think that sound effect means the place is clear. But I could be wrong. So the weight on these cherry bomb is zero, but the value is five, so I'll snag it. Same with these toy cars, it looks like the weight is zero. Oh, I wonder where this 
worth stuff. I didn't know that. I walked through this whole couple couple games and never picked up one thing of Wonder Glue. I never knew what it was for. Are those is that ammo? Oh, it's like a chemistry set. Programmers Digest, Scrap Electronics. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, let's get into this. Oh, there's a footlock that was empty. All right, let's get into this thing. Fine. Wow, I can't even... Oh, let me read the book. Perfect. So, my strategy for this is just pick the first three words over and over again. <coughs> if you go four and it's not the correct one, then it locks you out. So, just do three, back out, do three, back out. Perfect. The most times I've had to do it is like maybe six or seven times. <laughs> I'll take it all. What is that? That's a weighted one. Okay, let's let's take a look at what we just picked up here. Okay, baseball bat, straight razor, farming rifle. I like it. Farming rifle. All right, let's do a quick game save. Try to be a little conscientious about my game saves. Uh, just because uh, Fallout 3 on Windows, it worked for me, but um, I got a lot of crashing at certain spots. Uh, sometimes I would just have to bail whatever mission I was on and do something else. So, let's... There we go. Man, Easy Pete never goes anywhere. <coughs> Is there a sunny in here? Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Let me see, buddy. Can I turn it off? Good. Okay, so she in here. I, th I wonder if I have to go meet her back there. <coughs> what time is it? 5 p.m.? What, what is it showing me on the map? Oh, this is probably where they want me to go meet her. Okay, let's go. Yeah, she must still be standing out there. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, this game looks pretty great. I think I have it set just, like, just the preset ultra, whatever that was. And, um, <coughs> like, the ground looks cool. And it's really funny how they, um, oh no, is it just sending me back to the schoolhouse? It is. Don't I have what I need? The Xander root and the block Brock flower? Flower. Oh, I don't have the Xander root. Oh, I never found the thing. I just ran around here. That's right. I'm dumb. Dumb, big, dumb, dumb. <laughs> I 
just looted this schoolhouse and thought I was finished. But I'm not. Oh, let's check some of these desks. I forgot about these. Hey, what's this? Okay, it's got to be like kind of right around here because it's said by the schoolhouse, so. Was the jalapenos? Kind of, I forgot where the Xander root stuff is. There it is. <coughs> All right, now let's check this quest to see what it says. Perfect. We will just fast travel. Okay, so that was pretty simple. It's my mistake. She's like right around here, right? Where are you, girl? There she is. First, I'm gonna go look in this trailer over here. Cause wouldn't you? That's it. I'm trying to see what this harmonica is worth. Two. Nothing. Nothing worth nothing. All right, let's go talk to um. What's her name? Sally? Sunny. Sunny something. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well. I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Let's go meet Trudster. I don't know anybody named Trudy. Do you? Yeah, I don't think I've ever met a Trudy in my life. <coughs> I, I did know an Agnes uh, in law school, actually. She was... It's a, like an old lady name, but she was like a really, really super cute little girl. Like little kind of petite girl. Not little girl, that sounds weird. Like a little petite girl. She was like five one or two or something like that. <laughs> Agnes. That's funny. I think she just went by Aggie. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is like someone's place. It's not messing around. <coughs>
he literally never goes anywhere. Hey. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder <laughs> isn't the best idea. That's hilarious. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, personally. All right. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. So that's hilarious. <clears throat> I-15 is I could I can get to I-15 in about I'd say 10 to 15 minutes from my house. <laughs> it's so weird. <clears throat> sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world, and that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. It is kind of creepy. Fine by me. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. 
Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. All right, let's see what she's got for sale. <clears throat> got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Okay, let's see what I can sell to her. Misc Alanisk. Get rid of these cherry bombs. I don't even know what these are. Empty syringe. Hammer. Scrap. Let's see what she's got. She has stim packs. No stim packs. She has purified water. Oh, this is different. Only HP plus two, huh? Okay, never mind. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Be careful out there. Okay. Let's go take a look at our radio. I think I don't have enough uh, science or whatever. So I need a repair of 20 at least when I upgrade or level up. <coughs> There we go. Give me some light. I need some light. All right, where are we headed? Let's let's figure this out. Do we have any quests up here? Ghost Town gunfight. They went that away. Okay, so let's do another quick game save. We're gonna go talk to this guy that was that's uh, on the run or hiding or whatever. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Okay, I don't want nothing to do with this. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. 
I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, is there... That, yeah, there's a... Man, I don't have nothing. Any like lockpick or skill or anything. What's that? Flower? I'm not sure what's. Wow, this. I don't know if this is how the values were in uh, Fallout 3. I think this uh, empty bottles and stuff weren't that valuable. going back and forth. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. <coughs> sure, what do you want to know? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west. Fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy. But the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves, and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise, they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. All right, let's talk uh, talk to her about Ringo here. Say no more. I'm in. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. 
You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. I'll be waiting. Okay, so we gotta go talk to some people. Start with Easy P first. Howdy. Bad trouble. Welcome. Too dangerous. Wanna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Yep. Okay. So I, I gotta get some leveling up done somehow. Oh my gosh, look at all these markers. So I think this is Doc Mitchell's house right here. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You take care now. All right, now we find the actual exit, <laughs> and then we use it, and we go do some more yapping. I think the Trudy's house is around here or something. Hello. Yep. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. Okay, let's see what we got to do here. Let's get science up to, say, 20. Lock pick up to... Twenty guns up to twenty. Uh, medicine up to nineteen. Oh, uh, maybe we need repair up to twenty. Create. Oh no, we want science to fix the radio. Choose one perk. I think intense training. Uh, let's go perception strength. Is more stuff you can carry. Intelligence, agility, charisma. Do a quick game save. Was that someone else in the house right there? Oh yeah, who's that? Howdy. Thank oh, that's you. that one. That's the lady that got shot that we helped. Hey, look, these houses have back doors. It's so nice. Yep. Come on. Mm -hmm.
Howdy. Told you before. Yep. I guess we're not going to get Easy Pete's dynamite. This dude's probably like not open. I'll sit. And then I will <laughs> wait until the morning. Let's go, what, 10 hours? I think that makes it about, what was it? What time was it? 10 10 30 p.m.? So I'll make it like 8 30 p.m. or a.m. Probably have to go out and then back in. Mm. Kill that. I, I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. Wake up, dude. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Okay, so let's see if he's gonna help. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You made your point. <laughs> I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Let's see, what Let's see what he's got for sale. That sounds helpful. Bell. Take it easy now. <laughs> the guy was just standing there staring at the wall. That was so weird. Alright, one more game save. Who else am I supposed to talk to? Um, let's see. Return to Ringo. I guess. We're just not going to get Easy Pete's dynamite, huh? Do I have like a persuasion? Like a book or something? Oh uh, yeah, that's... A barter? I don't know if barter is... We don't need to barter, we need... Oh dude, I'm going back, I gotta sell more of this stuff. A bunch of stuff I don't want. Come here. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. Worthless. 
Thanks. Take it easy now. All right, let's go. I'm gonna try to keep things lean and lean and mean, not carry a bunch of stuff like that I've just picked up by accident. I don't think we're gonna be able to, to do easy peat, so let's just go talk to the guy at the gas station. First. Oh, sweet truck. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Ooh. At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, guys. In the next video, defeat the powder gang. Powder gangers. I was trying to be an all dramatic, and I totally blew it. <laughs> Have a great one. See you in the next video, guys.